Augmented reality helps people experience digital information in a new way. Join us as we talk to Torch about how they're enabling anyone to build AR experiences on this episode of Stack Chat. Thanks for joining us, Josh. Tell us a little bit more about what Torch does. Thanks for having me, Mark. Uh, Torch is an AR design and publishing platform. So we, we are a mobile first wor workflow for building AR inside of AR. Uh, we let designers very quickly prototype and develop uh, augmented reality experiences that they can then share with other people. So what does the architecture look like for people who are going to go in and then build an AR app? So we had three main goals when building Torch 1.0. Uh, we wanted the camera first, mobile first workflow. Uh, we wanted to allow people to easily bring in whatever assets they have, whether it's images, video, 3D models, all that. Uh, and then we wanted to enable collaboration and sort of semi-real-time collaboration between users on the platform. So uh, we went with Firebase for the mobile device uh, portion of that because it allowed us to not really pay attention to a lot of what we needed to do to offload computation into the cloud. You know, working on a mobile device, we're already very limited with CPU and GPU. We're, we're running computer vision to do AR, we're running real-time 3D rendering at 60 frames a second. So we needed to be able to shift some of that computation into the cloud. And Firebase lets us do that really easily by calling cloud functions, by using real-time databases, things like that. For asset import, we wanted to be able to support all sorts of file types and to do it in, in a very fast and efficient manner. And so we did that through a combination of Firebase functions and GKE. So rather than trying to do any kind of computationally expensive processing on the mobile device, we ship assets to the cloud, run them through a cloud processor in GKE, and then ship them back into functions where uh, we then update Firestore and that lets the mobile device know that everything, everything is ready. Some examples of what we do in the cloud are uh, encoding images into GPU formats. We do model conversions between various 3D file formats. Uh, we process video for real time, things like that. Um, and then for collaboration, we are really leaning heavily on Firestore. So we use real-time snapshotting in order to let multiple clients be writing to the same set of documents and, and real-time update everything that's happening uh, as, as it's happening. We do this a little bit differently than you might think. So we're not using single documents as a document store. We're doing time series data and uh, what's also known as, a, as event sourcing where every event that has ever happened in a project, we know and we track. And then to build up the final result, uh, you run through every event and generate the full scene document or the full project document. Um, and then for performance and bandwidth reasons, uh, every once in a while in a cloud function, we will what we call checkpoint those events. And so that takes those events at, up until a certain time, uh, turns it into the final project format. And so then to retrieve a project, we retrieve the latest checkpoint in any event that has happened since. So it sounds like a lot of the real-time collaboration, of course, depends on Firestore. What made you choose Firestore as the right way to handle this? So we had two main reasons for that. Uh, because we're primarily a mobile app and we didn't want to write any cloud infrastructure that we didn't really need to, direct access to the DB from mobile and from cloud functions was, was really important to us. Uh, on the other side of that, that's a really double-edged sword because it means that you need to be really careful about your schema management um, and, and making sure that you're not doing any, anything bad on either side of those. Um, and so what we ended up doing is building a type safe layer in TypeScript for access to the database that makes sure that you know, programmers are not willy-nilly adding to the schema, changing things where, when we don't know about it. Um, and then we've also added the ability to version a document um, and migrate between, between versions. So the second reason we chose Firestore is due to that snapshotting that I talked about earlier, where we can just set up uh, callbacks and get live data as things change. And it's just really easy to hook into UI and to hook into application state. Um, and so it just, it provides us with a programming model that makes all of that really easy. So it sounds like you may have made some changes over time. If you could go back and re-architect this based on what you learned over the process, what would you do differently? So the first thing is if we were to redo it today, uh, Cloud Run now exists. 
Uh, and so a lot of what we actually built up in GKE to do asset processing, we could do without having to build what we built in GKE. Uh, and so we would probably move as much of our, as much of the code that is in GKE and Cloud Functions into Cloud Run. But it didn't exist at the time, so, uh, oh well. Uh, <laughs> The second thing is schema management. The schema that we first chose for uh, assets made it very expensive for us to determine, does a user have access to this asset? And so what we've ended up with is in order to securely store assets, uh, but also make it very cheap for users, for, for clients to access any information they need to download an asset, uh, we, we do real-time syncing of asset data into the project. So any, uh, any information that a, that a client needs in order to recreate the project gets mirrored into the project itself. Thanks for telling us about how you actually built this application to help other people build their own applications. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Get started with Cloud Firestore by checking out this quick start guide. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content. We'll see you next time on StackChat.